Fiona Zaring here with the Red Carpet Report. We're in Beverly Hills tonight for the premiere of The Divide. Yep. Hi, Hi there. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Your directorial debut. Great. What drew you to this project? How did you get involved with this movie? Oh, I've always wanted to make my own movie. Like every actor in Hollywood, I've wanted to make my own movie my whole life. It took me 50 years to get here, but I'm slow. What can That's I all right. Congratulations. Yeah, it was worth I'm the slow. wait. It's going to be a great project. Well, I'm happy with this, which kind of amazes me to be able to say that because there haven't been a lot of things I've liked that I've been in, but I actually really like this movie. Good. I hope other people will too. I'm, I think it turned out really great. <laughs> I'm sure they will. So I heard, did you shoot this on your own ranch in yes. Northern California? Yeah. What was that like to be at home, making a movie, just full circle? I, I hardly remember being in my own house while we shot it because I was so busy. But the idea was I have a cattle ranch, 500 acres in the Sierra Nevada. And I'm lucky enough to have something like that. And we thought we'll use it for the location. I'll never have a fight with the landowner, right? <laughs> He'll go along with me. So Brilliant. Yeah. So your character is struggling with, is it Alzheimer's, dementia? And it's not very well known. There's not much information about those types of diseases during the 70s. So what was that like to sort of take on as an actor, someone who is struggling with losing their memory? Was it a challenge? Well, first of all, we... We figured out that we wanted to set it in 1976 because it was the last big drought in California. Okay. And and it's about this character's land being in drought. But then we, we, put, we realized that we wanted that element for him in his own mind, in his own life of drought. And in 1976, nobody really knew that phrase at all, right. that term, you know. It wasn't in the common language at the time. Nobody had any patience with it. Nobody had any sympathy. In that sense, we've come a long way. Things are definitely better. We don't have a, an answer to the problem, but things are much better today. And that's part of what we, yeah, we wanted to illustrate that, that nobody knows what's wrong with him and nobody wants anything to do with him because he's struggling with it. You know? So I spent a lot of time researching it. I was lucky because I had oh, a couple years while we put all this together, all that time I could be working and understanding the problem I spent lots of time with people who really have Alzheimer's who were very generous to me and and would be suffering from it but allow me to observe them and understand them they tell me what it felt like and until I could get to the place where I could feel as if at least that I was actually experiencing it myself you know and it, it it's part of the joy of being an actor is that it takes you into areas you'd never learn about so at this point I feel like I really understand a lot about how the way people feel with it. It's so isolating when you have this. And like everybody in this country, it seems, I have people in my family that are close to me that are suffering from it or beginning to suffer from it. And it's so isolating. You know, I'm so hoping that uh, eventually we'll find some answer. Yeah, me too. Well, that's an amazing story. You got to work with some incredible actors on this movie. What was it like to work with some really young actors, some new actors? I mean, how, how incredible is this cast? Well, I think I knew by the time I came to direct this film, I've been an actor for almost half a century, and I had noticed that, you know, you must get fine actors. You cannot make a film with, no matter how many times filmmakers try to do it, you can't make, there's a reason there's a profession called acting. There is a skill there. And uh, so I worked really hard for months to find superb actors. I didn't need name people, didn't matter. But I mean, I got Sarah Arrington, who's just superb in this movie. So good, she's a wonderful actress. She's not very well known. She may be after this comes out. You know? I hope so. I think so. Brian Kaplan, Levi Christ, who's won uh, uh, Tony on Broadway, uh, a young man named Luke Colombero, who's going to be a big star, I think, because he's so good. But I got really good actors. And in the smaller roles, Jeffrey Wade playing a small role, a real pro who's been around forever, really makes a huge difference. Um, it's in black and white. Yes. Was that a tough call? Did you know from the beginning? Was that your decision? It was always going to be in black and white. Okay. Back in the 70s when I thought I want to make my own movie someday, it was going to be a black and white movie. No, no question about it. I love black and white. It's, it's so beautiful, so evocative. It tells, it tells a story all by itself. You know, John Ford, the great filmmaker who made westerns always, with John Wayne, he said black and white photography is real photography. And uh, that's how I felt. And my cinematographer, Russ Rayburn, did a superb job. Just everything I could have asked and more. 
If you had to describe why people need to go see this movie in one sentence, what would you say? At the end of this film, I've now seen it 20 times with audiences, I'll bet you. At the end of the film, it seems like about a third, at least, of the people who see it are in tears. But tears really moved by it. And we seem to have made a movie that moves people. And that's just what we wanted to do. You know, I always love that feeling when a movie moves you, you know, and it seems like we pulled it off. That was our goal, but I think we've done it. People get very moved by this story. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to see it. It Thank was so you. nice to meet you. you. Will you tell me how you, th what you I think? Will. Of it I will. I will let you know. Please let me know. I will let you know. I'm okay. so happy for you. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.